game is live on De Thera by Effin Pwn. We're going to do three games in total, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Players are ready. Um, this is the build of the map after the changes, mainly to a bomb site with re-adding the good old, good old backdoor entrance. And changes to b side ladder well this peak how do you describe this <clears throat> there used to be a peak down there in the middle which uh in theory compromised a little bit of uh of the counter terrorist or rather terrorists possibility to actually enter the uh late round see some sort of a b stack now right now there's a lot of Information on the CT side that the terrorists have gotten there, but no one really made the push. It's <clears throat> shady there on the bomb side. CTs are all around, and there's one terrorist lurking. Player number six, Nordic, with the player alias Bonk. Two T's on the, on the bomb side. Nordic should have gone into the. Should have should have went for the for the tag there. Twenty is down to eighteen HP. Nordic is twenty. There he goes, Tweeny. Perfect! <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is getting a little bit... Uh, how do you call it? Scruffy. Uh, I'm, I haven't had the best voice day today. But I have some water with me, so... There we go. First round for the tease. I want, do want to see what happens... Did you hear the squeak? A little rubber, rubber ducky. I do want to see what happens in the middle. So player number four, I think, is going to be... On the receiving end. It's going to be some sort of a split. T's kind of set to snake through. Nice pick from Barry. Nelson all the way in the T stairs right now. Flanking Shady. And player number six is Nordic. The bomb is going to be wrapping around Nelson right now. There's flank upon flank happening. Nelson might get this kill. Never mind. One versus three. <clears throat> Barry Trist with the MP9 that he stole from Bendy. So with these recent map changes, um, I want to draw a parallel in your mind. Really thinking of what... Just this map, uh, what could it be compared to? I don't want to use the, the word of like, oh, this map is like this map. Uh, because we all know comparison is the killer of joy. That definitely uh, stands to uh, stands true in uh, in many, many aspects of, of life. Um, but there, if, if there would be a comparison to be drawn within the the map philosophy and the the pathing and the routing of this map against some other map that we are uh, kind of used to i would call inferno and what a better map to be compared to i think i think inferno's like that the whole dynamic its whole pacing uh, game is just so it I, I think it's on the on the parallel to de nukes level of of, of uniqueness Good force buy from the from the CDs, by the way. Look how they are spread out there everywhere else. Except where the T's are. And now the T's are creating a little bit more space, causing a rotation. There's one player in that back area. Tweeny is on the other side of the wall. Maybe goes down by at 6 and 4 and lets you get some nice 2k. Um, but yeah, what do I mean with uh, with Inferno? There's a little bit more going on around this area. The Obviously, the, the areas are not the same. And I'm not going to be comparing the areas to, to, to what areas would be in Inferno. But if you see a parallel in, in middle and how that links to what would be in Inferno would be a banana. There is definitely a, a, a dynamic, like space for similar uh, dynamics to be, to be uh, at work here. But I think this level of, of players like... You're reminding re reminding them of some sort of an experience that is uh, super familiar, that you can start your uh, your expansion of of your player, you know, like your your, your player skill set and and and, uh, and game sense around 
already familiar experience and i think that's very important so that you know maps are not crazily too different in same ish aspects same ish dynamics and then we have d nuke <laughs> all that being said d nuke and d train i guess it's just the, the, the morale of the story is that the dynamics of map spaces how they work have to be easily recognized by the players and they have to make it nelson with his shaky aim gets two kills there and decides to well back to b bomb side to save you are here saving a mac 10 one three he's on the lead rubber duckies floating in the, in the water look at them aren't they so cute <laughs> oh they even have eyelashes there they are uh... <laughs> those are so cute i think the cinematic experience sadly with the lineup early mid smoke takes out the whole b take that's it covering that new a entrance rather familiar a entrance War Owl would say, hmm, familiar. Nice kill from Vendy. Can you balance the situation out with that kill? Barry getting mid pick from Shady. Bomb is probably going to be getting planted on the A bomb side. There we go. Window position. I don't really know if Sadri was able to see the see the enemy player there I, I i think so though i think the x-ray did a little bit of a, of a of a trick so from our perspective we didn't see the players there i think sadly was able to though and that's going to be another ct round I do love that the familiar aspects of this area, for example, uh, being that the heaven is like, like you know, the this used to be the, almost laid out the exact same way in CSGO in the 2000, was it 14 or 15 version? I mean, I, I can't remember when the map came out. Anyway, back to the game. Silverty getting startled to give out the whole mid Paris star now around and above B side. This one's getting flanked. So every already low player was hit even more. Nordic is not watching his back. Flying at it gets the kill. Bomb is going to be getting getting down flanked by Shady. It's absolutely flanked. Sandwiched, even. Yeah. So, this bombsite, it's it's so interesting how the dynamic of players, like, jumping down, dropping down from uh, all sides. It, it means that the, there are going to be, like, faster rounds. But then again, if you want to be, you know, if you want to heighten the, the skill ceiling... It's going to mean that you have to take it slow and quiet because good players are going to be able to uh, able to kill you based on just like the, the slightest of cues. Early molly from Hatsik, a flashbang and a white swing. That was almost a nice try. I think the flashbang went a little bit too deep there. Oh yeah, and this area is also fenced off. Bob is getting. Closer and closer to that B bomb side with two CTs. No one on A though. The fast rotations definitely allow CT players to change their positioning without giving up too much space, which is cool. Definitely later on with uh, how the map map's meta evolves, there's going to be a little bit more risk and nuance to player positioning where they know exactly what areas to hold. What 
is that sound? What was that sound? Jesus Christ. Okay, interesting. That that took my took my my words straight out of my mouth. Is there a what? Okay. Is there some sort of a dynamic with the with the piano? If you shoot it, it makes a sound. And then a molly landed on top of it and it made it like a Huh. Let me type. the message to players if there's another one of those rounds we'll see let the players damage the piano if it makes sense if it makes a sound that would explain it ct is four to three in the in the lead i think the cities have taken um uh, a, a good uh, direction of of actually like trying to take this area under control you know, you, you as a as a CT, you, you might as well push here because the timing allows you to, to get an early peak, and then trying to trying to molly the, molly this area off to nullify two of the choke points, make it into one. And I think that's very important to still keep uh, keep that possible as a CT. It's kind of a, kind of an obvious straight straight away like a like an idea. You you push as a player uh, to nullify two choke points into one. At the point that the choke points like kind of split up and if you die then you lose a player and that was uh, really a risk reward and he doesn't know that there's vendi right behind him player number zero i cannot spectate him i cannot quick switch them for some whatever reason vendi alive in mid not anymore nordic here with the mac 10 he loves this mac 10 oh so much Paracruise down to 10 HP. And that's it with the AWP AWP. Cartisera. A very OG skin. Look at that. It's a very nice combination with the uh, the gloves. Actually, I, uh, I'm going to nade. Uh, I mean, nade? What? Name drop. Elsa here. Nice for picking, helping uh, Atseek to pick out those skins. Very crisp, 10 HP, Nordic, 25, able to get the bomb, makes sound now, players are going to be drawn to his location. Why did you do that, Nordic? Why did you do that? have taken the bomb and went to B side while he still had the time. Nice try though, 5 to 3. Alright, opinions. I think 20 should scrape the the mouse uh, glitter stickers from his M4 uh, nine times so that the their like outline gets a little bit smoother actually no keep it like it is nice spray there actually not a nice spray didn't hit a single one of those shots that was an attempt also Twin is using the tiniest fucking crosshair that I've ever seen I mean, he, he's getting kills with it, so. There is one player directly behind Twinny. Reloading his AK-47. Make that two. Shady and Wolf come right beside each other. On the other side, they're going to result. Or, yeah, I think wrong word there to be used resort into doing a split but that split doesn't really flesh out to anything except five dead terrorists yeah although they they uh, didn't see the terrorists they they definitely knew that they were not around the b-bomb side as the cities had the mid control and they also had the B donut control, so you know, you can't go through mid, you can't go through donut. Totally under A. A lot of action happening in middle. Shady getting 
getting through there with two of our mates. Just panicking and shooting into the smoke. Somehow Shady is not able to see Nelson in that area. We'll come up there, 22 HP. And uh, Nordic was somehow killed. Don't know what happened there. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> That's so lovely hearing the ducks. Rubber duckies going squeak. An early CT mid rush. Good nade from Serverty. Gets picked out by Zachary though with that nice timing. Didn't realize that the terrorists fell down from there. Twin with a crisp headshot onto Wendy. More terrorist action now happening around B bomb site. Sadri doesn't know that there's one CT in the back. Now they know. Nelson's getting two lucky headshots. I know they're lucky because Nelson is not this good. Look at his aim. He has like the craziest. He has the craziest aim ever. Well, he's actually the second top frag. Look at that. 13 kills. Good job, Nelson. He's playing very consistently now. talking of the city side we are all friends here don't worry about it silvery attempting again that mid rush i think he's going to get pushed nice shot there by silvery but no sadri is there again for the push wolf coming pushing through getting twinny that's a little bit of an achievement in in and of itself Two CTs around a B bomb site. Barry and Nelson creeping up to aid Atsy in this bomb site take. Shady's in the new upper entrance. Gets seen by Atsy. That nade. Almost a perfect nade. Shady gets dealt with. It's Nordic against Atsy. Two Finnish people. Nordic does the exact right thing. I didn't realize that Attic has that quick rotation there. Smokes the door. Nordic might be holding. Attic doesn't know that he's on the side. Now he knows. And Nordic doesn't think of the possibility of Attic pushing through the smoke. Nice try. <clears throat> 9 to 3. The, I'm gonna call it Team Twinny against Team Zadri. Team Twinny on the, on the lead. Look at this guy. <laughs> so I'm starting to play with the, uh, the rubber ducky. I want to see a nice rush from the T side now. Nice unified push. All together now. Some trouble with the ladder. It's not surprised that people don't like ladders. Nice stack from the CTs. Nordic getting two kills. I'm completely missing all the action because the spectating UI is fucking terrible. I have to look at the radar to find the player number and then switch to them. And I can't player number eight, for example. I'm pressing eight right now. Can't even switch them. Player number nine. Oh yeah, player numbers are wrong. Valve, please fix. Anyway, Saturday and Shady, both 100 HP. So is Twinny with that P250 equipped. P250 is equally as good of a gun as the USP in this situation. Twinny is expecting the second CT player to play aggressively when Shady 
uh, swings out like that, but I don't think the CDs are necessarily that well uh, coordinated. Now they are, and that's just where Twinny's player experience comes into play, that he can make a snap judgment with those sorts of decisions and uh, ultimately gets stuck there. I think he was trying to get the... I don't really know what happened. You died. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, it, it looked like uh, like Twinny got caught into the wall and he was trying to like back off, trying to pick up the bomb, but that he was able to, to get the frag and uh, I'm rooting for the team team uh, Zadri here, the underdogs, definitely. So, give him help. It's going to be a nice A split. Terry Star definitely getting a little bit stuck here but imagine you pushing like five stack uh rushing absolute inferno or b b russian mirage um uh, you know it's it's good to have a little bit a little bit of a of a difference in player area like map areas how tight they are to contrast the other parts of the map i mean just look at b how open and spacious it is spacious it is also a side is like fairly fairly open the entrances to it terribly tight but i think that's 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 not taking anything away from the map you know saying that you had terribly good sleep that's a positive within a terrible like a negative ad uh, adjective classically anyway middle is getting spammed to shit with twinnies and nelson's galil x ak-47 Nelson is not. What the hell happened there? Nelson is only alive because he somehow maneuvered his way back up onto the railing. What the hell happened there? It's lucky with that headshot. Sorry, my bad. I'm just trash talking Nelson today. 5 HP. Wolf Comet fell back quite a long way, and now this is pretty. It's pretty safe to say what what's on, uh, on everyone's mind that this round is going to be over soon enough as that bomb is going to go live wolf is able to find that ak that it's going to be very nice oh this spot right there are a couple spots that uh were changed so this sort of a uh, dynamic used to exist here outside the bomb side and that is definitely uh under a lot of controversy i think Terrorists win. such a funny spot to be right next to the actual actual bomb site i don't think it, it definitely like didn't um support that much of you know play this thing if if like play this thing off the bomb site when players are like just hiding outside of it like resorting into like kind of a kind of a cheeky and cheap tactics um, you know, instead of facing the enemy, you're just like kind of, kind of cowering away, and that's the winning strat. Then I don't really know if you you can call that playing. I take nice B hops. I take toggling his cheats. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. What is going on with these players? So choppy. Tech pause. Is the server lagging or something? Nice shot from Twini. Wolf coming was definitely stuck there, kind of. Dandy is AFK. There's apparently an earthquake.
right, we have to kick. There we go. I hope Vindy is doing well within uh, that sort of a heavy earthquake losing Kazakhstan. I wish him all all the luck in the world. Um, yeah, they're gonna be getting a replacement soon. <laughs> Sharon is downloading the map. Two gigs. I think Lamarai is recording right now. Lamarai joined for a round. Yeah, these sorts of things you just can't can't predict, you know. One moment you're having a, having a nice time playing Counter Strike, testing a map, and then the second you're taking cover from uh, an earthquake and your internet cuts out and uh, your fucking table turns over, quite literally, you know. Unlucky. I hope Vendy's doing well. Lamar is kind of forced to get a <laughs> get a CZ. Look at that name, between the That is funny. T's are down to three players, two AKs, one M4. Full utility though. CTs have zero utility. I think that's going to be a trend where uh, players on this map are going to find that. CT utility gets dried up very fast, and uh, what do I mean mean by that is that there's uh, in inherent um, the map has been designed in the way that you kind of are forced to use utility. That is fine, as other maps have that in the in the evolved meta. As player have players have found throughout the years how to like get more map control with utility. But the map doesn't like actually actually require it every time and uh more and more that players play the map they will find uh more sophisticated ways of using the utility so the amount of utility that you have to use right now um, what the fucking hell is happening good job nelson what? jesus christ uh <laughs> as metas go and utility usage goes the more experienced the the community around a certain map Gets. There we go. Lamarite gives his spot back to Vendi. Yeah, the the more sophisticated the utility usage will be, and thus you will start to find players saving said utility around around the map wherever they can. this like technical technical shit it's a little bit annoying to spec but anyway i guess it's kind of safe to call that the game is over all right we are gonna be queuing up for a game number two with a little bit different mixed up teams stay tuned for that if this is your last game of the night that you're gonna be watching Take care. Thank you for watching. See ya.